Okay, Etan, welcome to your video tutorial on angles of elevation and depression. Today we're going to use what we've learned in trigonometry so far and look at two different types of angles that we find, angles that go up or elevation, and then from a horizontal distance, looking down and into the distance. Okay, um, basically when we actually try, try and apply trigonometry in real life, mainly it involves looking at angles of elevation and depression. So if you're asking me when the hell you're going to use Sokotoa in your real life, it's basically with these two different types of angles, elevation and depression. Okay, so when you look at an angle of elevation, it's kind of like you're standing on at the base, say like 10 meters from the base of a building, and you look up. Or it's when you're at those really crap seats at the cinema, right? And you're right in the front row, and you're looking up at the screen. The angle but from the horizontal or from the flat and looking up is your angle of elevation. Okay, and basically it follows your line of sight up here, and it's basically from the horizontal where you are looking up. An angle of, ele uh, of depression is actually not you on the ground anymore. Your old mate in his weird flying apparatus over here, and it's when you're looking on top of it, so on top of a building, and you're looking down. Yeah, so you're from on top looking down, and that's called an angle of depression. And they're the two ways where you're going to use trig. Okay, so for example, this is one type of question that you might be asked. It says, to find the height of a tall building, John stands 85 metres away from its base and measures the angle uh, of elevation to the top of the building as 70 degrees. Find the height of the building correct to the nearest metre. Now, technically this is, you're like, hold on. If I'm looking at the picture, I, I kind of already know how to do this. But the thing is, guys, mainly most of the time you don't get the picture. So I'm being nice and giving you the picture this time. Uh, first off, I need to know what H is. I know I'm going to use trigonometry. So I'm going to write my saw, ka, toa. It's basically exactly the same thing. It's just been worded differently for you. I'm going to label it. Now, I don't have a right angle labeled, but I know if this is a building going straight up, it's going to be my right angle in there, yeah? So the first thing I'll need to do is label my right angle. Then I'll label my sides. If that's the right angle, that's the hypotenuse. If this is the angle I'm concerned about here, that's the opposite. And this guy here is the adjacent. So the measurements I have are on the adjacent, and the one I'm looking for is the opposite. So adjacent and opposite is going to be tan. Okay, so the tan of whatever angle I have is the opposite over the adjacent, the tan, and then I've been given 70 degrees, so the tan of 70 degrees equals my opposite, I don't know, H over my adjacent, which is 85. What I do to one side, I do exactly the same thing to the other. Okay, so if this side is being divided by 85 in order to get the answer, uh, if H is being divided by 85, I need to times this side by 85. If I times that side, I have to do the same thing to this side, okay? So these guys cancel out, these guys are cancelled out, okay? So H is going to be equal to 1070 times 85, okay? And if I put that in the calculator, I get 233.535, okay? So basically H is going to be equaling 233.54. Now, does that seem right? Well, you're lucky because it is kind of half to scale. If that's 85 there, that's about doubling a bit. Yeah, that's seeming about right at about three times almost even. One, two, three. Yeah. So that kind of seems right. So you'll notice it's exactly the same as Sokotoa. Um, I, sorry, I'm using Sokotoa and it's kind of a similar question, but I've just thrown in this concept of an angle of elevation. This one's going to become more apparent. It says, from the observation room of Centre Point Tower in Sydney, it has a height of 160 metres, the angle of depression of a boat moored at Circular Quay is observed to be 8 degrees. From how far from the base of the tower is the boat connect to the nearest metre? Well, first I'll label my sides. I know, even though it's a bit of a dodgy-ass view, I know that that's going to be 90 degrees. Okay, so, so I'll just draw another line along there. How do I know which one's my opposite, which one's my adjacent? I know that that's the hypotenuse, but what do you find actually missing in this? You're right. It's an 
angle? Wh what angle am I using, okay, in order to work out this ratio of size? What angle am I going to use? I haven't been given anything here. I haven't been given anything here. Oh, wait, hold on. That's going up as a straight line, and it's 8 degrees from there to there. What can I tell about this, maybe? What's that going to form? And if you picked it, you picked it right. It's actually that line, because it goes up straight, is going to form a right angle. So if it's 8 degrees from there to there, the whole thing is going to be 90. So it's going to be, yes, 82. Okay, it's going to be 82, and I've drawn it a bit dodgily. So I'm going to rub this out. It's going to be in here. This angle is going to be 82 degrees. Okay, so that's going to be now my angle, 82. And if that's the angle that I've worked out and I'm and I'm able to use within my triangle, that's going to be the adjacent, that's going to be the opposite, and that's going to be the hypotenuse. Okay, so because I can't work out that one, here, okay, it's going to be that guy, that's adjacent, that's opposite, that's the hypotenuse. Okay, so so, uh, toa, if I want to write it down, and again I've been dodge and I've gone with tan. The opposite and the adjacent, so the tan of whatever angle I have is the opposite over the adjacent, the tan of, in this case, 82 degrees, okay, is going to equal the opposite is something I don't know, over 160. Okay, because that's the opposite. Okay, that x has been divided by 160, so to get rid of it, I times. Okay, if I times that side, I have to do the same to that side. These guys cancel out, so I'm just left with x. And if I put 1080, uh, 1082 times 60, I'm going to get an answer of x being 1138.45 nine okay so I know to do this properly if I want to the nearest meter it's one one three eight point four four is less than five so it's going to be one one three eight meters it is saying that that boat is one hundred one thousand one hundred and thirty eight meters out to sea and that's it guys that's using trig to solve problems with angle elevation and depression